Hi guys, it's me again back with AWS. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Lambda function using serverless framework. So let's get started. To do this, we need to first create an IAM user to access the uh, AWS. Uh, for serverless, we need an administrator access to uh, create Lambda functions on behalf of you. So first I'm going to go to IA management section, identity and access management section. So if you are on a home page and find services, you type IAM. Then it will redirect you to the IAM uh, dashboard where you can see how many users are there, how many groups, <coughs> all those informations. So uh, let's create a user. I call it a uh, serverless user okay and um, sorry ser serverless user my spelling is correct and then this is a programmatic access because we will use AWS access key and secret key to access the API it doesn't have any console access so then we go to the next i want to uh, add an existing policy to this user i will set up this administrative access it's still uh, it requires administrative access till now and <clears throat> We need to be careful giving this API access key or keeping this API access key secret. So it has all those uh, permissions which is required to uh, execute or create the Lambda functions. So uh, be careful uh, using this API key and secrets and always try to rotate them on a timely basis. Then I go to next tags. <laughs> I if project serverless always use tagging it saves time later on when we do generate reports so uh, review serverless user programmatic access and then managed policy tags create user so let's create this user all looks good great so uh, I have created the user to uh, do the uh, for you which will be used in the serverless config files so uh, this is the access key id and this is the secret key guys i will delete this user after finishing my tutorial so do not copy this it will not work on your environment so you need to create on your own what you can do is you can download this as a csv for later use this uh, access key and secret key it will be only shown uh, at this moment after that you will you will not have any chance to view it again so try to keep it on a safe place and use it uh, wisely so what I will do I will use this now copy and uh, I go to my shell I have already installed AWS CLI if you don't know how to install AWS CLI please uh, view my other uh, tutorials where I have instructed how to install AWS CLI so uh, now let's configure the AWS CLI okay I need to give the access key ID which I have just created I am going to paste this and press enter then I am going to copy this secret key and then I'm going to paste default region I use usually EU West 1 but you are free to use whichever is nearest to you EU West 1 default output format I keep it as it is and then I have configured my AWS CLI so 
let's uh, close this we have done and I go to my console okay that's clear then uh, we need to uh, create a or install the serverless to this uh, system I have already done previously but I think the command is same you can do this you just copy this command and uh, you run it on your local shell it will work so it's npm it's required npm install minus g for global serverless so uh, <coughs> I will not show how to install npm with node so uh, this is uh, I will cover in other tutorials I assume you already have installed npm if you don't uh, if you don't have installed npm previously I uh, suggest you to install it and then continue pause the video and continue from there so uh, I, I was already installed in serverless previously so I just uh, upgraded some packages so it's done so now uh, I can run serverless commands globally serverless as a shortcut sls so we can use that as well which is uh, which is also nice let's create sls so i'm going to create a new project in serverless so this project will have used node.js as its language and it will uh, just return some values so uh, let's create template uh, serverless has some predefined templates we are going to using aws and then node.js so here it is aws node.js and then the path is that is the path that is inside that uh, directory which I will call um, tutorial AWS Node.js Lambda. Okay, uh, generating the path successfully generated. The template so it's all went well if it's when there is an error so you will get a message and then you need to take actions based on this usually there shouldn't be any error at all when you would try to run this so let's uh, clear this command I make it free I have using VS code here to uh, edit files so let's refresh and here is my project has been created so here you see three files has been created one that is a git ignore so uh, these uh, these are predefined that if you use node.js then there will be node modules folder automatically created which you do not want to put inside your git and then the serverless dot dot serverless part directories and jscm packages so this is predefined git ignore you can modify it if you want <laughs> then you can see serverless.yaml file and handler.js so these are our two main files which we need to work on so this serverless.yaml file is your config file which we you are going to use uh, basically to uh, control uh, the process so here we will define what will be our function name what will be our runtime everything it's uh, configurable from here as you can see the name of this service here it's given then a uh, provider its name is aws it's an yaml file so uh, if you have uh, an editor that provides this editing feature to yaml that's great if if you don't have then it's also fine you can just <coughs> use spacing to differentiate on I in identity differentiate on uh, different kind of values 
so here we have provider that's named uh, AWS the runtime is node.js 8.10 I will define the region here my region is EU West 1 okay then um, I will just create a lambda function so I give my function name uh, AWS node JS AWS Lambda Tute. Okay, handler. Then I usually use index here. That's my preference, but you can use anything as you want. Okay, that's the function. I will not go into detail of the function it is just a simple instruction on how you can create your lambda function and uh, then you can uh, continue to do more complex things this is just a tutorial for beginners so I would expect if you are a professional this is uh, very easy for you and <coughs> you will be not needed to see this Okay, I go to handler.js and then I uh, use the function name index here to index. That's fine. Then I have handler function. Okay, that's clear. So I use a sync. So this is something like just a returning a 200 code with a go serverless message and input is the event okay now let's go to command prompt and we need to deploy this project deploy this uh, serverless project to aws that means this when we deploy it to aws then uh, it will create the corresponding lambda function an iam user with proper permissions and a cloud stack so let's go over there SLS deploy minus V so initially it will take some time because it needs to create all those things a cloud formation stack oh sorry I need to go to the directory where I have created uh, the tutorial yeah I have gone over there and then I go to deploy minus V Okay, it will take some time. It will create the IAM users with proper permissions. It will create a cloud formation. It will create a Lambda function for you. And it will create all those <coughs> things that is related with these functions. And it will upload the function to your Lambda. So usually it takes one or two minutes time. It's uh, You can uh, uh, avoid that in future but first time you need to deploy it and then later on you can just deploy the function where you have just uh, modified your JavaScript file so uh, it's uh, not that much time consuming okay here I can see uh, cloud formation stack is completed and then this is the more of the, all of this informations we have functions Okay, sorry, I have gone to a different project. Okay, I'm back. So, um, let's see, uh, we need to deploy this. Deploy. So, we need to come, the command is SLS deploy minus V. It will deploy your <coughs> function to the uh, AWS it will create your corresponding uh, IAM users and uh, cloud formation stack your lambda function and upload the code to the lambda function so this usually takes one or two minutes time uh, you have to wait for this uh, 
basically it's for first time the next time I will show you that you can just deploy the function that is uh, that is the node.js file easily that takes very few uh, seconds to deploy so uh, it is giving you output what it is doing it is creating a cloud formation as you can see it's created an s3 bucket also created a function tutorial aws node.js it's taking so uh, let's wait I pause my video till it's finished okay the deployment has finished and here is the output so the function has been created stack has been created so all the output as you can see that's great and uh, now let's uh, clear this screen go to AWS and then I want to first show you in the cloud formation so uh, in the cloud formation as you can see tutorial AWS node.js lambda dev it has been created there are some resources related to this cloud formation stack we can see what has been done so far we can see the resources here you see it has a lambda function it has an IAM role so uh, it has an S3 bucket so it has a logs everything has been created on behalf of you it's a great tool serverless I must say when you are working with lambda functions where you uh, have a uh, lot of things to be done and it's uh, uh, all uh, if you do it via cloud formation stack it's very useful in future so uh, this is our cloud formation stack and then we need to go to uh, lambda Or we can go from here as well so I go to uh, the lambda function here okay here it says this function has been created by the AWS cloud formation stack so as you can see it has created your permissions to use CloudWatch logs and here you can see this is our code great you can see that it has been created tags it's using it's created your role it's said by default it's uses memory 1024 timeout is six seconds let's try to run this we need to first create a test my tutorial create then I'm going to run this test command okay it's executed fine and it gives us this response so it means it worked fine so let's do another test I just wanted to uh, modify the lambda function here so uh, rather than uh, returning this generic message I wanted to give a more meaningful message on my own
I've modified this then uh, I'm going to show you how you can deploy only the function so here SLS deploy function minus F and then the name of the function so we have given the name of the function is AWS Lambda tutorial let's try to deploy this function only the advantage of this deploying only the function is it takes very little time it just only uses the <coughs> function that is in the node.js and it updates only that part as you can see it's already done so let's see here refresh the page So as you can see my function has been deployed and it's in the lambda so um, the last point I wanted to show here is uh, the cloud watch in the monitoring section we can see when this lambda function has been invoked and what is its duration if there is any error so but it's the number of errors and then we can also view logs in CloudWatch for example here as you can see it has started this is the request then ending the request how much memory it has been used and how many seconds it's run so all the informations of this uh, lambda function is can be available in the cloud <coughs> so uh, that's it guys these are the basic things on serverless how to create a lambda function and how to uh, see its logs and how we can modify our lambda functions using our uh, own visual studio or on own editor and then deploy it easily from command prompt that's really very powerful it gives you the flexibility to easily uh, create your application on your local environment and then test it over there easily you can also use uh, git to uh, maintain this uh, serverless project so that you can create new version of it you can create a production and a, um, and a master branch and then and development branch separately it, it gives you a lot of flexibility for maintaining large applications using lambda functions so uh, I hope this X tutorial helps you a lot and uh, I will get some more related to lambda function and serverless thank you for watching this uh, video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and uh, view other videos later on thank you bye